别激进了。These horrific scenes that emerged from the city of Zhengzhou in July shocked the world. The industrial and commercial hub in central China received a year's worth of rainfall in just three days. Chinese meteorological officials warned that extreme weather will only become more frequent and serious because of climate change. Following the natural disaster in Zhengzhou, many are now asking, how is China tackling climate change? Like the rest of the world, China is facing more frequent extreme weather. The nation has seen more heat waves and heavy rainstorms. Temperatures have risen by 0.24 degrees Celsius on average every 10 years. China's coastal regions have also seen sea levels rise 3.4 millimeters per year. The global average is 3.2 millimeters. One study predicts that if nothing is done, China's economic powerhouses in the Yangtze River Delta and Pearl River Delta could suffer from higher tides and annual flooding. Major coastal cities, including Shanghai and Guangzhou, could also face more flooding and greater storm damage. Greenhouse gases are a major contributor to climate change. And while every country produces such emissions, years of rapid economic growth have made China the world's biggest source of the primary greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. The nation's CO2 emissions rose from 3.3 gigatons in 2000 to over 10.1 gigatons in 2019. China knows it's a big part of the problem, but how can it be part of the solution? To tackle climate change, China announced a bold target to become carbon neutral by 2060. One major challenge for China is reducing its reliance on coal. In 2018, the country generated 7.25 gigatons of CO2 from burning coal. China consumes more coal than any other country, using more than 3.9 billion tons in 2019, mostly for heavy industry and to generate electricity and heat. One alternative to coal is natural gas, which emits 50 to 60 percent less CO2 during combustion. As of 2018, China was the world's third largest consumer of natural gas. In 2020, China's liquefied natural gas consumption rose by some 11 percent, far outpacing the 1 percent rise globally. But the average price for a megawatt hour of electricity generated from gas-fired power units is 36% more expensive than from coal. That makes it unaffordable for small factories and China's vast rural population to burn gas in the winter. The country is also building more hydroelectric dams and nuclear plants, but the ecological impact and safety of these power sources are controversial. China has also been pushing for more electric vehicles. The government forecasts sales of electric plug-in hybrid and hydrogen-powered vehicles will rise to 20% of overall new car sales by 2025 from the current 5%. But power for these vehicles, for now, still comes primarily from coal-fired generators. So while they are better than petrol cars, EVs are still not perfect. China is also looking to cut its industrial CO2 emissions. In July 2021, it opened a national carbon emission trading exchange in Shanghai. The scheme, based on a cap-and-trade model, is currently limited to the power generation sector. Each company is allocated a certain number of emissions allowances up to a set limit. They can trade or buy allowances depending on whether they remain below or exceed the cap. 
Less efficient companies which exceed their emissions quotas will have to square the difference by buying additional carbon permits from more efficient companies. The nation is also pursuing decarbonization projects, including energy efficiency upgrades, replacing fossil fuel energy generation facilities with renewable or low-carbon ones, and retrofitting plants with carbon capture equipment. China's approach is also different from other countries which often limit their absolute amounts of emissions. Instead, Beijing tries to encourage companies to produce the same or greater amount of energy while reducing their emissions or keeping them at the same level. So, as China's economy continues to grow, its total emissions may still be on the rise. Perhaps the most visible attempt to stem the tide of global warming is China's reforestation program. A vigorous tree planting campaign has nearly doubled forest coverage in China, from 12% in 1978 to nearly 23% in 2020. New forests act as huge carbon sinks, absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere and locking it in the ground. China is also targeting climate change with its latest five-year plan, which includes a goal of reducing emissions intensity the amount of CO2 produced per unit of GDP, by 18% from 2021 to 2025. Another target is for alternatives to fossil fuels to make up 20% of China's primary energy generation. The outcome of these measures undertaken by the world's most populous country will be closely watched, since the future of the planet may very well hinge on China's next moves.